Now we will talk about the relationship between risk and testing. The risk is considered as a mix between two things. Okay, so when we say about anything in our project, it has a high risk or low risk, it depends on the likelihood and the impact of this risk. The likelihood or the probability is how often this risk is going to happen. Does it happen every day, every week, every month, or maybe it never happens, okay? The impact is if this risk happens, what is its impact on our project, okay? How will we be affected by this risk, okay? So if we have a risk with low likelihood and low impact, so we can say about it, it is a low risk, okay? It has a low priority. But for example, if we have a medium, impact and medium likelihood so this is a medium risk if the impact is high and the likelihood is high this is a critical risk okay the threat is high and we have to do a mitigation strategy to face this risk we divide risks into two types project risks and product risks project risks are the risks that surround the project capability to deliver its objectives okay so we have a project and we have some risks that we may encounter in our project but the product risk means areas in the product itself areas in the software that may have failures in them okay so like we said project risks talk about things in the project itself we can divide it into three types of risks organizational factors so these are risks dealing with the organization the communication between the employees like skills we have employees with low skills this is a risk like training employees don't have enough training on techniques and technologies used like staff shortage someone left the company and we have a staff shortage or problems of communication the second category of project risks is technical issues so these are technical issues in our project that may delay it or reduce its capability of delivering its objectives like we have a problem in requirements like the test environment is not ready so here the test environment if the test environment is not ready the product will not have failures but it will be delayed in its release this delay is considered as a project risk okay we have a low quality the data conversion or migration is delayed all of these are considered as technical issues the third is supplier issues supplier issues means someone outside of our company okay so someone supplies us with some resources this is a supplier we have an issue with him okay or failure of a third party my company is the first party and the client is the second party the third party is someone who is between us and gives value to both of us if this person fails in delivering what we need this is a project risk that may delay us product risks talk about risks in the product itself okay its usability its performance its functionality and so on so for example failure prone software delivered the software that we delivered has a high probability of failure or we delivered a software or a hardware that could cause harm to individuals or company when people use it it may cause harm to them the third thing is poor software characteristics like usability okay we made an application and it has a low level of usability or the data integrity and the quality is poor and last is that our software doesn't perform its intended functions this is the seventh principle in the seven testing principle which talks about absence of error policy here risk-based approach when we use risk-based approach that means that we will care about the areas that have higher risks first okay this is an approach in testing and it is of course an analytical approach so this is considered as a proactive approach why because i think about the future and i act upon my thinking about it so in this approach i reduce the level of product risks in the initial stages of our projects here of course we identify the risks in our project and we identify their likelihood and impact so that we can prioritize them which guides me in test planning and control